This video is not about cinnamon. I'm just holding her because she was chasing things in my room and I don't want her to be doing that. So, yeah. Hello, this is Editing Alicia. I would just like to say I'm sorry for the chaotic mess that is this video. I was tired and stuff. Bye. <laughs> Hello my friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia and thanks for clicking on this video. I apologize for not uploading a video last week. I was, um, tired and very unmotivated. Look at this! I may look put together up here, but really I'm wearing puppy dog slippers, so I'm not that organized. It's fine because you can't see them. Well, I mean, I guess you just did, but yeah. I'm wearing slippers. That's besides the point. This video is not about my slippers or my kitten. I'm filming this video um, at the end of Pride Month. I'm filming it before the month actually ends, but you won't be seeing it until next month, so technically it won't be a Pride Month video, but it kind of is because I'm filming it now. Anyway, I know several of you have asked me to film a video like this, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I have not explained what I'm doing today yet, so let's do that. Also, before we get started even more than we already have, I have no braces. I got my braces off, it was a fun time, and the, I haven't got my light on. I really should turn the light on, because this is the only light that we're getting here. I'm gonna turn my light on. That's, it's really not that much better. Oh well. I'm brace free. I got my braces off several days ago. Yeah, I just thought I'd mention that because I'm very happy, but I'm also not happy because I'm still not allowed to eat whole apples, which is one of the things I was excited about because now I have a wire on the back of my teeth so it'll still break if I bite into a whole apple and I'm really disappointed. Moving on. This week's video is some tips for coming out. Most of them will be directed towards people who are planning to come out to their family or their parents, but like you could probably use some of them for coming out to other people, I don't know, I haven't really thought about that much. I have filmed a couple of videos similar to this one, which was my ways to come out. That was a general thing for people of all sexualities and gender identities. Um, and then there was a pansexual specific ways to come out video. This one's gonna be a little bit different. Um, it's gonna be tips rather than actual ways to do it. You'll understand what I mean when I actually get into it. But yeah, this is uh, for anyone who wants to come out to their family. People of any identity are welcome here. Um, I'm glad to have you sitting here and watching this video. This was a really long intro. I've already been filming for six minutes and I haven't even started yet, so I'm gonna just get on with it. I'm flapping my hands about a lot too. I'm just gonna stop doing that. So, coming out tips. Number one, have a friend go along with you for you know, emotional, moral support, uh, if you're not sure how your family's gonna react. Make sure you are prepared to answer any questions that your family might have about your identity, especially if you're coming out as, like, pansexual, polysexual, non-binary, any of those more atypical identities that people don't really talk about that often. Um, they're probably gonna have some questions and it's best if you know how to answer them before they get asked. If you're nervous to tell your whole family at once, you could try telling the person or people that you feel closest to and moving on from there. I know that that helped me when coming out to my friends. I told Renee first, that, w that was the only person I told to begin with, and then I told one of my other closest friends, and then I just kind of kept going from there. Now everyone knows. It's great. I'm out. We're cool. Timing is key. If you're planning to come out at a family event or something along those lines, try and make sure you do it at a time when people will have a chance to process what you're saying. Like, uh, don't come out immediately before the family dinner at Christmas or something, because then you'll all be sitting at the table and everyone will be there. <laughs> you know? If you're gonna come out at a family event, I suggest doing it closer to the end so they can go home and think about it and then, you know, just get on with your life and stuff. Did that make sense? I don't know. It may have, it may not have. Try to anticipate and be prepared for their reaction, especially if you think they're gonna be less accepting of you. Um, I was lucky because my family, I, I knew they were gonna be relatively chill about it, so I'm cool, but um, if you think your family 
is not going to be okay and accepting of your identity or sexuality or whatever, try to make sure you have another option. Um, I know a lot of people have been literally kicked out of their homes by their parents for their identity and if you feel like that's going to happen to you, make sure you have a backup plan because that will not be good for anyone. And also, if that does happen to you, I am so sorry, I am your parent now. I'm 18, I can legally be your parent. Make sure you remember that by coming out, you are not asking for their permission or approval to be who you are, you are just letting them know who you are as a person. I mean, if they accept you, that's great, we love that. But if they don't, don't take that as a you cannot be who you are. That's not true at all. You are loved and accepted by me and by a lot of other people, okay? So don't just like force yourself to be someone you're not to make your parents happy. That's no way to live. Don't do it. And whether they accept you or not, you are no less beautiful and valid than you were before. We love you. We stan. All that stuff. <laughs> I'm... I need to chill. I'm... I think I've screwed up my voice. I've been singing a lot of musical theatre recently and it's not good. And finally, it is your choice when and how you choose to come out. Don't let anyone else make that choice for you. You have every right to make that decision for yourself. So don't let them force you to do something you aren't ready for. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this may have helped some people. I know it's a little late because it's not Pride Month anymore. Well, it is for me, but it's not for you watching this because I'm not uploading it until Sunday, which is going to be next month. I've already explained that. I'm going to stop talking now. I'm really not because I've still got my outro to do. I hope this video was able to help some of you. And if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. I would really appreciate that. And if you did enjoy this video, please subscribe down there and click the bell icon if you want to get notifications whenever I upload a video. I do try to post every week. Usually it doesn't go like that. I tend to do a post every week for two weeks, then miss a week and then start again. So like that's kind of what's going on. It hasn't, I haven't posted for two weeks this time, so my schedule has just gone out the window. But if you do want to see more of me when I'm not uploading on YouTube, then you can follow me on social media. I have Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, and TikTok. They'll all be linked in the description for you to go check out if you want to do that. This week's quote of the week is... Wow, it's not as if we're going to just jump on a plane with him, is it? Oh, come on. Thank you all so much for watching. If you stuck around all the way to the end of this video, I appreciate that and I applaud your patience. I hope you're all having a great day. Please continue to be amazing people, make the world a better place, and never let anyone dull your sparkle. I will see you guys next week with another video. Goodbye.